Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and today I am doing an update for the cartoon themed project pan that I am doing in collaboration with Steph and I think Andrea is doing it as well. I'm not sure who else is doing it, but I will link them down below. Um, it's a collaboration with Geeks and Beauties. That's, that's where I do most of my collabs these days. Uh, so I mainly am doing samples with mine. Uh, this was a project where we picked 50 cartoons and then randomly picked 10 items. And then we will uh, attempt to use as many of those um, 50 number or cartoons over the course of a year as we can. Um, yeah, so I'm mostly using samples because samples are, uh, I have other projects and samples are a little bit easier, although this time I've put in some things that aren't samples because I did use some stuff up. Um, if you're wondering why I look like this, then you need to check my You Look Marvelous video because it will explain why I have dead girl lips. I actually love this colour, um, but it's not uh, its not really an everyday colour for most people. And the eye look is the next level. I'm aware of that. Okay, so let's get into the things I had in this collection that I have in this project that I've actually used. So um, this mask thing, which I put in for Inspector Gadget because it was weird. Um, so I did some looking up on this. This is about four years out of date um, and whilst you know a little bit of expired I can um, deal with uh, I wasn't prepared to put this on my face um, also I could not find any instructions like they don't make this anymore on um, 23 pack um, they still exist and they still make lots of products but not this one um, and yeah so I couldn't get any actual details of anything on it um, and I'm not prepared to cause myself a massive reaction or damage my skin by using something that is so out of date. Uh, yeah, so that's it. It's going out. It's going in the rubbish. So there's that. Um, excuse my dog. Uh, the next thing I used up was... I'm very organized, as you can tell. Um, these four four these um, nature's pawpaw thingies which I put in for Yogi Bear Show um, the two body washes um, they were literally one shower each um, they were fine um, not it's not something I would go buy um, this was supposed to have pawpaw gel in it and when I opened it up it's literally like gone like dry or something so I couldn't even use that one but um, those are used up and the 10 it's a 10 uh, little sample pack that I put in for Ben 10 I used as well I actually don't like these <laughs> um, I used half the shampoo and the whole of one conditioner for one wash and I my hair didn't feel clean for a start um, I had to wash my hair more often like I usually only wash my hair like twice a week I had to wash it an extra time because it didn't clean it as effectively um, as I would have liked um, the moisturizer was fine but not as good as the moisturizer I currently use which is I think I'm using a fructus one at the moment so yeah I wasn't really impressed with those I also used uh, one half of the My Little Ponies um, things I had in two masks so I had in this mask and the Unicorn Glow mask I have not used a Unicorn Glow mask but I did use this one this was really nice I actually really enjoyed this it was cooling and um, it had a lot of essence in it you can actually there's still some in the packet there was that much um, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. It felt really nice on my skin. So that was that. Um, so I still have one thing to go in that one. Um, in the one for Batman, I used one of the pore strips. I had two in. And I used the black um, wipes. 
Um, I still have a pore strip and two masks to use for that one. Um, and none of the other stuff that I put in um, I have used. So, oh, yes, I have. This is the Purity uh, face wash from Philosophy that was in for uh, Rugrats. Um, that with this hand sanitizer, which I haven't even touched. Um, uh, yeah, so this is, um, this will be done by the next update. So, uh, yeah, but it's being used, which is good. So um, I'm quite happy that I actually managed to use up some things or declutter some things which is main my main goal with most of these kind of projects is to either use stuff up or declutter it if it doesn't work for me so um so because i had finished or got rid of stuff from three of the categories i picked three new ones so the first one i picked was number 27 which happened to be cat dog which was really funny because my daughter was talking about cat dog just the other day so what i decided to do was grab a couple of double ended items cat dog um and see whether i like them or whether they're still okay because this um cover girl in hmm don't even think it's got a name yes it does somewhere zero zero five which is one of those ones where you put this on first and then you put that on once it's dried on the other side um it looks a bit weird in the tube but i'm it doesn't smell bad it smells exactly like these always smell um so i'm gonna try it out a couple of times and see whether i still want it um i'm not attempting to use it up and the other one is this Provocalypse one, which has the same kind of idea on that end and the glossy thing on the other end. I got this color because it was one that was recommended. Um, this is Dare to Pink, but I think it's too light. Um, so I figure I'll use these a couple of times, see what I think, and then if I don't like them, I will um, get rid of them. So I thought this is a good project to do that kind of thing with. Um, so I'm not actually trying to use stuff up. I'm just trying to determine whether or not I should get rid of it. So um, the second one I picked was number 18, which was King of the Hill. Um, I really wanted something that was beer themed, but I don't have anything in my collection that's beer themed. So um, what I ended up doing was pulling out this wax, which is a zany laney wax. It's called Born Leader. I know it's not for King of the Hill. I'm pretty sure it's um, The Walking Dead or something like that. Um, it's got one cube out of it. This is strawberry, pineapple, eucalyptus and lemongrass. So I'm going to use this. Um, I have to clean out my wax burner at the moment because it's got something else in it. Um, but I'm going to use this um, see how I go with it. Um, I have a whole bunch of waxes and I just, I don't use them very often. I have other people in the house who complain that the house is too stinky. <laughs> if I like burn too much stuff. Um, yeah, people are a bit sensitive to scents around here. So, And the last one I picked was number five, which is Looney Tunes. Um, and uh, basically what I did was something loony. Uh, if you know me, you know I don't really use fragrance very much. Um, however, I seem to have fragrance. Usually samples that have come from like Bella boxes and stuff like that. So I have five different samples here. Um, two of, two, three of them I think are in little sprayers. Yeah. Um. Most of them are still in the little boxy things. I'm probably just going to get rid of the boxy things because they drive me crazy. Um, so I have uh, Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent, which is partly used. I have Aqua de Palma Blue Mediterraneo from Shinotti di Ligura or Shinotto or something I don't know 
I have We from Juicy Couture, which is that one. And I have Marshmallow from More, which I know I'm not hugely keen on. This is a very sweet scent. Um, I used the, I had the lip balm in this and it took me forever to use even half of it. And the last scent I have is this mini of the Versace Crystal Noir. I actually tried to use this in another project and did not use it. Um, yeah, so it's a cute little bottle. I'd love to have the bottle empty just so I could put it in my little thingy over there, which has all these collectible stuff in them. Um, but yeah, and it's, I don't like the fact that this is not a sprayer one. It's like literally got a, like a little knobby thing, but the bottle's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is the X, the new items. So we'll see how much of that I can actually get through. I mean, it's a whole year long project. I'm just really bad at using these things. Which is the other reason putting them in a project is to try and make myself use them. So that is the, that, that is it for this update. Uh, if you want to uh, check out the others, they will be linked down below. This was actually created by Steph. So make sure you go and check her out. Give her some love from me. Um, so yeah, this is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell next to it if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I will like your comment and I will answer any questions you ask me. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.